On the 23rd of January 2016, a passenger train collided with a manlift crossing a level crossing between Dulfson and Oman. The train driver was killed in the accident and two occupants sustained injuries. When a train derails and ends up on its side, the effects are serious. In the investigation, the Dutch Safety Board therefore looked for answers to the following questions. What precisely happened? And what lessons can be learned from this accident? The level crossing where the accident occurred is the intersection of the railway connection dalfsen Oman and the largely unpaved road Hetlacherfeld. The man lift, rented to a landscaping firm, was delivered by the rental company by low loader. Because the low loader could not cross the level crossing, the man lift was unloaded at the start of the unpaved road. The man lift had a maximum velocity of 1 km per hour. The employees of the landscaping firm thought they had sufficient time to cross the level crossing after a passing train. They did not check the timetable, nor contact track manager ProRail. On the way up, the man lift passed the level crossing well before the next train arrived. After finishing their work, the employees of the landscaping firm assumed, supported in their belief by the successful crossing the previous day, they had at least 10 minutes to cross the level crossing. Just like the previous day, they waited for a train to pass. After a train to Dalfson had passed, the operator of the manlift started the return journey. When the train arrived in Dalfson, another train left the station in the opposite direction. During the crossing, the operator saw a train approaching from the direction of Dalfson. At this point, the train was at such a distance that the level crossing had not yet been activated. The operator tried to warn the train driver by waving his arms. Realising a collision could not be avoided, he jumped out of the manlift's basket. The train driver gained sight of the level crossing at a distance of approximately 350 metres due to a curve in the railway line. Only at a distance of 175 metres he was able to see that the level crossing was not cleared. He almost immediately applied the emergency brake, which decelerated the train from 140 km per hour to 130 km per hour. The train driver had no time left before the accident to leave the cab. The impact of the collision demolished the cab of the train. An overhead lines pole was hit and the train derailed. The train driver was killed in the accident and two occupants sustained injuries. The man lift was completely destroyed. The investigation following the accident raised several lessons for improving level crossing safety. Crossing a level crossing with exceptional road vehicles is dangerous. The Dutch Safety Board recommends that it should be made clear to users of level crossings if they are able to cross without additional information from the track manager ProRail. In other countries, such as the United Kingdom, this is already a practice. The board also recommends ProRail to set up a procedure to allow users unable to cross without additional information to do so within a reasonable amount of time. Operators of exceptional vehicles should be more aware of the risks involving the crossing of level crossings with heavy road vehicles. These risks need to be pointed out during training and in rental contracts. Road users cannot raise alarm if they encounter problems on a level crossing, and train drivers are not warned when a level crossing isn't cleared. The Dutch Safety Board recommends that such a system is installed, especially now the use of rail infrastructure is intensified. The severe effects of the accident were caused by the high speed of the train the late visibility of the level crossing from the cab of the train and by the manlift's large mass and rigidity. A recent accident near Vinsum shows that a train can also derail after colliding with a truck. 
In the risk assessment of any level crossing, it's important to take into account the type of road traffic and the possible effects of occupants of the train. To improve the safety at level crossings, a closer cooperation between road managers and ProRail is required.